And we're seeing our first pictures of the damage in some hard to reach communities. The Florida Keys face what one official called a humanitarian crisis. Mm. Irma made landfall there with 130 mile an hour winds. Elaine Quijano has made it to Key Largo with a glimpse of what Irma left behind. Elaine, good morning. Good morning to you, Nora. By daylight now, we are getting that first glimpse of some of the devastation Irma left behind. We see piles of debris here in Key Largo, things like sliding glass doors, fences down, piles of wood, mattresses. And take a look beyond that property uh, over there across the water. It is much the same story. Uh, you can just see the force of the water that came through as her Irma washed ashore. Now, earlier we saw from our vantage point a chopper, uh, authorities appearing to survey the scene here and they're now going to have a chance to get to those hardest hit areas traveling at night without any electricity it was very difficult even just making our way to this point but now they will be able to get some help to the folks in the lower keys and the middle keys um, they'll be doing that of course all throughout the days and weeks ahead uh, what we know here is in Key Largo, we've been able to survey a little bit of the surrounding area, and clearly there was a storm surge effect. But even just a little bit further down from here, along uh, the overseas highways, it's known, Route 1, that's the only way in and out of the Keys, we saw boats, we saw refrigerators in the median, we saw coolers, we saw furniture, things you don't normally see on a street. Uh, just some of the things that we were able to see as we were making our way over here. So it is going to be a massive recovery effort ahead. Authorities are still not even sure what precisely they're dealing with. Of course, we're in the very early stages of what will be a long and difficult recovery process. Charlie.